Motor Week is made possible by Auto Value and Bumper to Bumper and TireRack.com. We're back with the biggest reveals from the Los Angeles Auto Show, starting with two new people movers. The popular Toyota Camry sedan enters its ninth generation. The fifth gen hybrid system is standard with all wheel drive available on all grades. It's joined by a new SUV version of the still fresh Crown sedan, hybrid powered with all wheel drive. The Crown Signia will eventually replace the Venza. Honda's Prelude concept made its North American debut, a two door coupe with an expected hybrid powertrain, clearly the near future of Honda sports cars. Subaru unveiled the 2025 Forester. This sixth generation model has a 2.5 liter boxer four cylinder and all wheel drive standard. It also has a stiffer chassis, enhanced steering and more tech. Expected to arrive this spring with a hybrid model waiting in the wings. Electric vehicle startup Lucid debuted their long awaited Gravity SUV. Lucid says Gravity's range is in excess of 440 miles with a 6,000 pound tow rating. The Gravity blends SUV versatility with Lucid luxury, all starting under $80,000, launching late 2024. South Korean motoring was represented with new and updated models. Hyundai showed off the new Santa Fe XRT. Expect all-terrain tires and extra cladding for an off-road vibe. Ground clearance is up 1.5 inches and towing is up to 4,500 pounds. The all-electric Ionic 5N was flexed as their next big performance offering. The first N-badged EV rates up to 641 horsepower with a zero to 60 time of three and a quarter seconds. Kia showcased the 2024 Sorento, including a new X-Pro model. The X-Pro wears BF Goodrich all-terrain tires on 17-inch wheels, and it ups towing to 4,000 pounds, expected in early 2024. And Genesis showed off the updated GV80 SUV and the all-new coupe variant. It can be outfitted with a 3.5-liter twin-turbo engine paired with a 48-volt electric supercharger rated over 400 horsepower. That's it from LA and this week's Motor News.